Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Concord, California, with NorCal Copwatch as he attempts to audit a post office and ends up getting the wrong set of people. But hey, if you're going to act like a douchebag, you might as well expect to get something in return for that. So at any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I'm gonna punch you in your belly. Boom! I give you a body shot to the belly and you put me on camera. <laughs> you can call the boys and tell them. I punched him in the belly. We're, we're putting it on camera. Some guy with the camera. No, but you can have security tell him to leave. You can do that. If there's security here, you can tell him to come out and tell him to leave. Oh, oh boy, Frauder, it looks like you've already pissed somebody off. That man in the orange shirt sounds like he wants to uh, go a few rounds with you. And it looks like he could, well, very well take your sorry ass down if he wanted to. But let's continue on and see what happens. Is that right? Oh, you've no. been in the street. Can they uh, videotape here? Nothing we can do? He's no, but security can ask him to leave, though. That's all they can find you. No, security is allowed to tell him to get off the premises. That's legal. A little longer than a few minutes later. Do you work here? You do. What's, what's your name? May I ask for why? Oh, I just, just want to know your name. You work here, right? I do. Are you the postmaster? I am. What's your name? I'm sir. Can we take care of some business for you? Yeah. Okay. What do you I mean? would like to know what your name is. Okay. So I'm public record. You can look it up. <laughs> but Mr. Postmaster, that's a bit too difficult for him. I don't think he can do a FOIA properly. I mean, he doesn't seem to have the uh, right amount of intelligence to do so. I mean, if you want a FOIA specialist, you go to uh, Goat Boy. How come you didn't just want to tell me? Can I get your business card? Can I have your business card, sir? I don't have any business cards. You don't have a business card? Is it because I have a camera that you want to identify? That's your choice. Right. Does he have a business card? He, do he doesn't have a business card? Don't worry about it. Are you sure? Don't make me go through a complaint process, man. Come on. I just want to know what your name is. I was going to highlight you and tell you that you did a good job by telling this guy that I have the right to be here filming. But now, now I'm going to highlight that you want to be a tyrant and not identify. Well, he managed to secure the permission of the postmaster, but uh, you know what? He still calls him a tyrant because he uh, won't identify himself. Well, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't in this case. I mean, that's just the way it goes with frauders. You can do everything right and still they'll give you a failing grade on their audits. And you know what? Oh my god, who the hell cares? Because it really doesn't matter what their grade is, because it sure as hell won't affect anybody else at all. I mean, it's not like the post office is going to permanently close just because they say they failed the audit. I mean, good grief, then what is the audit worth anyway? So why can't you just give me your business card? I don't have business cards, sir. Okay, can you tell me your name? 
Yeah. Okay, so it, let's say let's say I wanted to make a complaint on you specifically, but I don't know your so name. How do I do that? Make the complaint against the postmaster. Where's the letter? But I don't know what your name is, dude. Why are you Why are you acting like this, dude? Come on, man. Like I was being totally peaceful. You, oh, this is professional? I am being very professional. So what is your name? I am the postmaster. Are you supposed to have a name tag? No, I do not have a name tag. Are you supposed to have a name tag? Is it in your policy? No, it's not. It's not? No, it's not. Come on, man. This isn't, this isn't my first time doing this. That's a nice little intimidation tactic right there. Shame it completely failed. Besides, you say it's in the policy, but I'm just got a question for you. Have you ever rec actually read the policy? Or better yet, have you ever actually read an entire book in your entire adult life? I mean, it's just a question. You don't have to answer it, but inquiring minds do want to know. All right, so this guy doesn't want to give me his name. He wants to be an yeah, asshole. <laughs> it's a public place, bro. I can do whatever I want here. You can do whatever you want. If you want, if you want to get arrested for assault, you can. No. Oh, I just caught a contradiction in your little logic right there, dude. I mean, you just said that you can do whatever you want, but you also tied in the consequences for those actions right there. Therefore, you can't do whatever you want because there will be consequences to those actions. It's almost as if there are restrictions to everything and that we can't do whatever we want. I mean, go figure. See what a little bit of uh, logical reasoning can get you? I mean, you just try it once and maybe you'll like it. Or maybe your brain will fry because it can is incapable of uh, performing such calculations. So let's carry on, shall we? I don't have to assault you, but I can get if you. If you come face. anywhere near me, I'll I pepper get, spray I you in the face. I'm not I'm not even in your face. I'm standing right here. Yeah, we're all talking. We're all talking, right? Yeah, don't don't make threats. Don't make threats. Making a threat is a crime. Making a threat is a crime. You just did. You said you'd punch me in the stomach. Did you not? What? You said you'd punch me in the stomach? Oh, we got a little sissy boy who all of a sudden got some courage because the uh, postmaster is acting as his guardian right there, keeping that other guy from pounding you in the ground like a fence post. I mean, I'm sure if that uh, postmaster had decided to say F it and let him do it, well, this wouldn't be happening at this point. In fact, you'd probably be running away like a little boy. If you, if you put the camera on me, we might start arguing. Right? I mean, I'm filming everything in this room. So if you're, so if you're in here, if you're in here, I'm filming. Freedom of speech, right? Freedom of speech, we might qualify. Freedom of speech, unless you make a threat. We arguing. Freedom. I call the cops and tell them you just started an argument. You just started an argument with your dumb camera. Freedom of speech, unless you make a threat against somebody, which you did. Talking about which you did. You want me to play back? You want me to play back the audio? Doesn't matter what I did. All because you're afraid of a camera. Y'all should get a security guard over there. For what? It's a you're public building. You I can't mean. tell someone to leave a and public building. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. Oh, come on now, Frauditor, you know better than that. I mean, you've been trespassed many times from public buildings, and a lot of other frauditors have too. I mean, that's just a common misconception right there, dude. It happens all the damn time. He came in here with a camera, and if we start arguing, I'm the one that's at fault because I came in here to get my mail. How do you know I'm not here to conduct you know business? I mean? I'm over here. I'm over here for getting my mail. How do you know I'm not here to conduct business? No, he's he's making accusations about me. He doesn't know what I'm here for. Just let him talk to them. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I think you guys should hire security. <laughs> you guys should hire security guard. So this this guy thinks this guy thinks we should hire security at a post office.
That's so he's allowed funny. to tell me do your Oh, come on now, dude. Don't act as if everybody around you is a complete ignoramus. Even though we all know that you're a total ignoramus, we all know that you're there just to get a reaction out of people. And if you had any real business, you would have already gotten the uh, one stamp that you want and leave. But we all know you're not going to leave right away anyway. You just want those clicks and views and uh, act like you're a big, tough man when that postmaster ended up having to save your sorry ass from a real, real butt whooping. It's good to learn. Free education today. Yeah, just like I told you, I'll punch you in your fat belly. I mean, freedom of speech, right? Yeah, I dare you. Yeah, you are a fat ass belly. I dare you. I dare you to go on a diet. I dare you. I dare you to go on a diet. Look at you. You got a belly, too. You got to lift your mama, nigga. Ew. What did you can't lift more than your mama. What did he say? Ew, what? Can I hear you? So, just to clarify, I said this. Here, I just. All right, so before I leave, do you want to tell me what your name is, sir? I'm just about to leave. God, look at this, you guys. Come on now, dude, give it up. He's not going to give you his name. I mean, he's already saved your ass. You should at least thank him for that and walk away. Good job. What's your name? Can you identify for me, at least? Ray. Ray? Good job, Ray. Very good. You're going to get a, you're going to get a compliment. Postmaster is going to get a complaint. Oh my God, who the hell cares? All right, so this is Concord, California, the United States Post Office here. This guy wants to be a tyrant and not identify. Wow, you're calling him a tyrant because. He doesn't want to identify to you, even though he just saved your sorry ass from being pounded in the ground like a fence post. Man, you are somebody special, aren't you? And I don't mean, well, the good kind of special. I mean the, uh, well, I don't want to say it on my channel, but you know what I mean. Well, at any rate, guys... I hope you guys didn't smash your computer over this because this guy was completely incompetent. So I guess I'll see you guys on the next one.